Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. I wanna to talk to you about another segment on our series. Does this really work? Tools that we found at Harbor Freight that we were curious how they compare and stack up to other brands of tools or just do they work in general? Before I talk to you about this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We really appreciate it. All right, so what I have on tap for today is a Warrior, Warrior. heat gun. It's 1500 watts, dual temperature heat gun and you know, usually at Harbor Freight, you can catch a deal on tools. And I thought we'd compare it to this Cobalt uh, heat gun that we bought at Lowe's, I don't know, a couple years ago, and see how it compares for half the price, right? Okay, so uh, I know this one has a little more deluxe uh, features on it, but maybe you don't need all that. Maybe you're just trying to save a few bucks. Maybe you just need to iron out some scratches and some decking, or maybe for today's demonstration, we're gonna just use some heat shrink and some heat shrink butt connectors and see how this gun works versus the cobalt gun. And then maybe we'll try to iron out some scratches and some decking, cause that's what I use these guns for a lot. Plus just general, like it's cold out and I can't feel my fingers. So maybe we'll run them against each other and I'll see how they feel. And if it's a dual temperature, then we should be able to figure that out and see how well it compares to the other one. All right, got that. Got our warrior uh, directions right there. We'll leave those out. Got a nice protective bag. Don't let those hang out for the youngsters, okay? Ooh, it's kind of sleek. It says warrior on this side, okay? Oh, it says warrior on this side too. Uh, looks like a pretty standard heat gun, really. So um, we'll go ahead and, and we'll get started with this gun, get it plugged in here. So we're just gonna turn it on one first. I've got a really old extension cord. Sometimes fire might come out of these or one of the outlets doesn't work anymore. There we go. Like I was saying, you pull up, that's heat number one. We'll just plug it in to the plug I had plugged in the cobalt. Okay, one out of three. There's a rocker switch. We're gonna put it in uh, mode one. There's a one and a two. I'm assuming one is low heat and two is high heat. One thing I've noticed is this Heat gun is loud. It kicks out heat pretty quick on setting number one. It's pretty hot. So I'm wondering maybe if setting one, it's pretty hot. Let's see, let's try setting two. So what this gun is doing is it's blowing out the same amount of heat on a higher level. It's kind of stinky too probably because it's melting the plastic around this shroud. Usually I run my heat guns in high a lot of times, but I don't know if we need to with the Warrior. Let's see. Uh... Man, this thing has on-demand heat. Like it's straight up. You don't have to wait 30 seconds for this thing to heat up. It heats up in five seconds, which is crazy. Burning my hand. Let's do a couple tests with the Warrior and see what we got here. I have some crimpers and a couple wires that I want to crimp together. Today, we're just gonna do this quickly. Okay, we got a nice connection there. And over here, let's just say we're gonna go rogue. We'll just heat shrink one end of this for giggles, okay? Like so. Let's just say we needed to cover up something that was exposed and we need to use heat shrink. All right, so what we're gonna do is try the warrior first and let's see how long it takes us to heat shrink up this wire. I'm not gonna talk over the tool, okay? So I'm just gonna put this on high. I have a feeling it's gonna work really good or maybe a little too good, but let's see. Okay, that worked pretty good. It's not too heated. It didn't damage the wire at all. I like it. Okay, let's see how it does with some heat shrink. I have a piece right here. We'll go, at, ooh, what's going on? Got a little smoke coming out of the motor here. That smells electronic too. Um, I don't know guys. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just took this thing out of the box. Let's hope it's just, you know, burning in a little bit. All right, I'm just gonna leave the wire sticking out of this so for, for reference, cause it's all black and I have a black uh, hoodie on. So hopefully you can see that, okay? So that worked pretty quick. It did a good job. It's it's snug. I can't pull it off. So, you know, the Warrior, I got to give it some, some props, man. Not bad, Warrior. I just don't know how long it's going to last because look. Doesn't smell good, guys. 
doesn't smell too good. I want to have high hopes for the Warrior, but I don't know if the Warrior is going to make it. It's still smoking, man. It's been 15 seconds and it's, it's like, hey, it's lighting up, man. It's just like, all right, let's go. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and crimp another, just, just for comparison's sake, so you guys can see how the cobalt does. I don't think it warms up that fast. All right, we're gonna do the heat shrink first. This heat gun. It's not hot, it's getting warm. It's warming up. Now it's pretty hot. It's a 500, so it's giving me a digital readout of how hot it's getting as it goes up. I can adjust the temperature. But I'm gonna let this baby roll at, oh, it's at 940. Okay, let's go to 1200. I'm telling it to go to 1200. This cobalt gun is almost the exact replica of my Metabo HPT gun. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn both these guns on real quick. And the cobalt took a minute to heat up, so I'm just gonna let it run. I'm gonna turn on the Warrior. I'm gonna put them together and I'm gonna just do a test, a hand test to see if I can tell which one's hotter. Um, and this is not scientific, guys, this is just, a dude in a shop playing with heat guns, but let's see what we got, okay? All right, I got everything plugged in now. <laughs> so I'm gonna fire these off on high and we'll see if we can tell any difference between the heat. Ooh, hot. Ooh, hot. I'd have to say they're very close. Uh, I mean, when you're burning your hands, it's not fun anyways. So, you know, I obviously couldn't keep them this close, but I could keep them both about 12 inches away and they felt about the same amount of heat. This one heats up a lot faster, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and fire up the cobalt. The heat shrink butt connectors take longer to heat up and, and melt to the wire than the heat shrink does. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first and then we'll do the heat shrink, see if there's much difference in time saved or anything like that, okay? Now that we've warmed this gun up, it's pretty warm and it's still going up to 1200. So we are gonna wait a minute, 1100. We're still trying to get it to 1200. So I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and start doing our thing, right? I would say this one is working a little bit faster, but once it's up to temperature. So if you're doing a lot of heat shrinking, maybe you leave it on like that and let it run. I honestly think that the Cobalt did a little better than the Warrior. Let's see this. That worked pretty quick too. Yep, yeah, that's all good. Let's compare the two. This butt connector was done with the Cobalt. The lower one was done with the Warrior. And I don't know, I think they're both acceptable. I actually shortened the wires a little bit on this one. That's why there's a little bit more grab on it. I, I, I left the wires a little too long on this lower one. You know, for the most part, I think uh, the Warrior is not a bad investment if you need to do some miscellaneous heat shrinking and that kind of thing. There's one more test I wanna do though. I'm just gonna grab a piece of PVC decking really quick, put a couple light scratches in it, see how we can do as far as ironing those out, okay? All right, so I have a piece of TimberTech Azek here and I saw a light scratch in it already. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a couple more in, okay? Not, not super deep, just like superficial. Okay, there's two scratches. Let's grab the Warrior and see if we can iron that out without damaging the board. Not bad. I'm gonna do this other one with it while I'm here. Yeah, that one, that one erased pretty nice. Okay, let's compare that with the Cobalt, which we have another scratch right here. So it irons it out, but it doesn't remove it completely. Sometimes, I'm getting off topic here, but depending on the type of decking you're trying to repair, sometimes if you run the, a knife in it when it's warm, you can kind of blend, blend out the scratches, but you gotta be careful. I'm putting a little too much heat to it. So I'm gonna show you what happens when you put too much heat to something. Now your board's ruined. So you gotta be careful how much heat. Sometimes dialing down the temperature or maybe using, now I'm gonna do the same thing with the Warrior just to see if I can create that. I'm sure I can. 
Um, but then you might consider using it on a, a, the low setting to do these uh, subtle repairs in your decking. That's really weird, guys. I really thought I was gonna be able to put a burn in the decking like I did on the cobalt. So that tells me that the cobalt has more energy or a higher temperature setting and maybe this warrior is putting out too much air. So I'm gonna try to put a burn on slow and see if we can do it that way. Well, there's your evidence right there. It's a good heat gun for heat shrinking and things like that, but it's not getting nearly as hot as this cobalt is. So I'm a little torn now. I wanna be able to burn the crap out of something if I want to, okay? I wanna be able to do this. Uh, with my heat gun, I have the ability to turn the temperature down, but this particular gun, I don't know if it's gonna come up with the right amount of heat for certain circumstances that I might need for a particular project. So my conclusion on the Warrior, it's a great option for light duty heat applications, which a lot of things that you do are gonna be like that, like for butt connectors and heat shrink tubing. Uh, but if you need high, high heat, it may not be the right tool for that even though i could i was burning my hands on both and i from a feeling standpoint it felt the same i could definitely see the difference the the cobalt has just more power more heat maybe it's because it's blowing at a lower rate not like a hair dryer this is more like a hair dryer blower then this one's just like turbo, not a turbo, but it's like more concentrated heat. So I think it really depends on your needs, on what you need out of a heat gun. I think both of these would blister paint just fine. As far as longevity goes, I'm a little concerned about the old Warrior here because we had so much smoke coming out of it. I don't know if you guys saw it on camera, but it was definitely smoking, maybe because of brand new right out of the box. Could be just things melting together. It could even be in the directions. I didn't even read them that maybe that's a reason or it could be that it's just not well put together. Only time's gonna tell on that. If we take this to work and start using it and she burns up, I'll definitely keep you guys informed on that. But uh, thanks for watching this video. If you got something out of it, please click that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about the warrior. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.